What it is guys, it's Shadana. We're back at again with another review, so let's just get straight into it. This one is for Ultra Age. Ultra Age is a high speed sword swinging action adventure game set in the far future that follows the story of a young warrior called Age. Where you get to use your blade to cut through robotic and mutant foes, explore futuristic locales and unravel a vast conspiracy concerning the fate of a planet. So the cool thing about this game is it is based all in this character age he's a really cool dude really do like the way that they've designed him he has this really cool weapon and the cool thing about it is that it uses the environment and the things that you pick up and forage to create different kinds of blades for his weapon so you start off with a scimitar looking sword and you can get a claymore you can get a katana and you can get all these other different ones as you go along through the game you fight these giant robots you fight these mutant monsters and it is very souls like i feel in my opinion it has been rated a uh, meta score of 69 for the playstation 4 and a 71 for the switch there isn't any reviews that i can find for the metacritic score of the pc version sadly as of recording this i couldn't find any the game's initial release date was september the 9th 2021 and was rated esrb 10 teen peggy 12 and gcrb 12 plus or cero b depending on which um region you're in for those so it's genre is like a high speed action game and the languages it supports are EFIGS, Korean, Japanese and Chinese traditional. The cool thing is that it's set in a future world where you've got this really cool little AI buddy and you have all these different monsters coming at you with big monster bot boss attacks where you'll fight some things like a mecha drapoel you'll fight rhinos snakes and you'll even meet these other humanoid looking people and it's really cool i do like the way they've designed it if you go over to the website for the game which is intragames.co.kr consumer forward, forward slash consumer forward slash ultra age and all that stuff i will link it in the description as always you can go over there you can actually download wallpapers for free that they have available if you if you like the game it's published by dangan entertainment intra games and next stage depending on where you're based in the world and the developer was visual dart and next stage and i do like it it's a lot of fun it's a good game i i'm actually playing this on the playstation 5 because there is no playstation 5 version but you can play it via the backwards compatible system so you can play the playstation 4 version on your ps5 and if you do like the content guys hit the like button get subscribed think about come, becoming a member it's greatly appreciated it does support the channel everything that you guys give towards the channel goes back into the channel so we can create more content for you guys we also go live on this channel and starting the 2nd of november we'll be live here every day that we do go live which is tuesday through to sunday there will be times and descriptions available on all platforms we will put that on the social media so you can check that out as well it's a really cool game guys i really do like it i feel like they have done a really good job you can see the inspirations for things like um devil may cry and souls in the fact that when you do die it does reset you back and you have to go back and collect stuff that you've lost is it has that nice difficulty souls like scaling to it and it's really fun i do feel like it has a lot of inspiration from a couple of different high action games as well as the difficulty scaling of the souls like and roguelike styles but not taken from complete like, completely from roguelikes it's taken certain inspirations and that's a good thing being inspired to create something unique is cool and i feel like this game does have a lot of uniqueness to it i feel that they have done a really good job with the character designs the story the audio it's really really good it's really well really well done and i really am enjoying it i definitely recommend checking it out if you can pick it up on sale you can get it real cheap i know that there was a sale recently for it on steam it was down by like 20 percent, and it was a really good deal and i feel like it's a really good game to play 
if you do like games like Devil May Cry or Dark Souls, this is a game that might be up your alley. It is very fun. I've probably got about 20 hours into it. 20, 25, I'd say. And it, it's really fun. And I've spent a lot of time going back through levels, trying to find stuff and different areas. And it's a lot of fun. And I do feel like there is different aspects to the game, like trying to get the best gear and making sure your character is as leveled out as possible you can really crank him up make him super powered it's a really good game and i have as always tried to keep the review spoiler free so you guys don't um get spoiled by it <clears throat> sorry about my voice there it is a really good game and i do think that it's well worth picking it up i will put some links down in the description if i can get them in there for you guys so it's a really cool game and I feel that there is certain things that they've been inspired by, like the little robot Helvis he is inspired by, I feel, Ghost from Destiny in how he's like the the like comedic relief to you and how he like it, the banter between him and age. I do like that. And it does add to the immersion for me. And having that witty repartee between you, the main character, and your companion. I feel like I've done a really good job of that. The upgrade path for the game and the way, the way your character develops is a lot of fun. You can make both Helvis and yourself stronger as you play through by collecting these little crystals and you can do so much with the way you play you can you can go down the path of being a glass cannon or a tanky character there is a lot that you can do in the way you play and it appeals to content creators that so you can go down the, the path of doing like challenges of only using say the starting blade or only using say the claymore or the katana it is really really fun and i do think that it does offer a lot of replay at playability the lightning blade is the other one i just remembered it brain fart and it just it came back to me um looking at my notes i was just looking at it and i was like why am i not reading that it's the lightning blade that's the other blade that you can get it's really cool though it's a really fun game i do think that the inspirations that are there do show up but they're not like it's a clone of this game or that game. It's being its own game whilst showing that it is inspired by other things. And it is aware that there will be these links made to it. But it's not trying to say, oh, we're a clone of this or that. It's its own thing and it's proud of that. And it's a lot of fun to play. I will say the only thing that does bug me is the difficulty scaling it's not really scalable for casual players some casual players or people with disabilities may struggle with this game and the mapping the button mapping isn't great i did have to try and work out a way to do it without having the ability to use my knack on controller when i was first testing it on the playstation 5 i did go back and play it with my controller that has paddles on the bottom on my playstation 4 and it does feel a lot more comfortable i feel like it does allow better for controllers with mappable buttons to be able to feel more more in keeping with the way i like to play personally but that's just a me thing i'm just letting you know what i've i've discovered across my playthrough and what i've I feel is something that I would like to see improved upon. Again, the PlayStation 5 doesn't have uh, third-party controllers yet, and there are no like adaptions that you can make to add back paddle buttons and stuff like that, which is a shame because there's no backwards compatibility with the PlayStation 4 controllers because that would be great because I've got a £150 controller that I can't use on my PlayStation 5. But that's just me talking about how playstation i feel i've dropped the ball on that side and even though i love my playstation and my xbox and my pc and my switch i feel that this game is better played on the playstation 4 for people with disabilities because you can get controllers that 
will allow for a better accessibility. They have done a really good game job, job of the game, sorry, um, in the immersion and the way that the character feels connected to you, the player. He's, you can upgrade him, you can add different things to him, and you can make him more powerful in the way that you like to play. You're not locked to one path. I do feel that they've done a really good job of that. And the character design for certain characters are very good. And I feel like they've done a really good job with creating a compelling story. And it makes you want to play more and more and more. I remember recording the gameplay for this. I was like, oh, I'll only, I'll only grab 40 minutes of gameplay and then I will sit down and play it for myself for the rest of the time. I spent time recording this and six hours had gone by of just playing because it's so much fun. I'd recorded six hours and I really do feel like I've done a really good job of it. And so I would definitely recommend it. But as always guys, let me know what you think. If you've played it, let me know in the comments. If you like the look of it, let me know what you think. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, thank you for checking out the video thank you for all the love and support thank you to my members that we've had recently in the streams, there is a lot of you I will post in the comments as well for you guys to know all these amazing people that have supported the channel recently they're amazing and I love them <clears throat> thanks for watching guys see you in the next one